We've been through so much, you and I. It's unreal how the world suddenly ends. One day you feel like you're in a place that will last forever. The next moment you've changed and that place is now a memory. There were people just like you and me, hundreds and thousands of years ago, that were young and felt eternal. Now their bodies have decomposed. Their stories are forgotten. All that they cared for and all that they were is now nothing. We will soon be just like them, as someone else will take our place in the sun as Earth consumes our aging bones. No one really understands how close they are to death. In less than a hundred years, Everyone listening to this tonight, including myself as the speaker, will be dead. Take the thought that you will never be great, that you will never be known and the ambitions as well as your dreams will forever remain as such. You will live the most mediocre life only to have served a system that allowed you to get by and live a simple existence. We've created a culture to see that as unfavorable. And I am someone who has repeatedly encouraged individuals to strive for greatness. However, as an alternative perspective, consider the beauty that entails the lives of those who died cherishing the simple pleasures in life. Within the quiet man lives a world of serenity, and understand and express by those who watch crashing waves and wake early morning to capture the sunrise. I don't know... Uh, I don't exactly know what amount of worldly success can match the fulfillment experienced when appreciating these moments that nature presents daily, and how you could not deem that to be a life well lived. At the heart of all of this, I don't believe we must do something. That is my central view. I would choose to live purposeful, excite my ambitions and find meaning in my wildest dreams. But deep within, I see no difference between a person lying in the gutter of a Grammy street and a person flying above in a jet plane. At the end of everything, we will meet the same wave that will wash away all that we thought real. So, how do we respond to such a perception? In my opinion, and the reason I live with such a view, is that purpose provides a playful experience to my existence. But I am always detached knowing it's a blanket to cover my reality, which reduces my anxiety significantly. I know I can engage and proceed through uncertainty with a smile because I choose to believe living is fundamentally for pleasure even though it can be twisted and painful. While it is wonderful to pursue what attracts your soul, know you are free to live outside of human affairs with the rest of nature, in the ecstasy of just being. In light of this, I've had the thought that the truth discovered upon death is the realization that life is a joke, and humor is a language beyond this dimension which somehow we've stolen from the gods. That just before you die, if time were to radically slow as you have an epiphany, you will wish you treated life less seriously, as if you were being tested, and instead enjoyed it while you could. Rather than trying to be someone, you decide to just be. For being is more fulfilling than someoning.